Hey guys, it's Free from Easy Breezy Creations, and today we're going to laser engrave with the Snap Maker. So we, all you need is whatever you're engraving on. We've stained it. Make sure if you're staining your wood that you use a light colored stain because it burns black. And you need the Snap Maker and a laptop so that you can get your image. So let's get started. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna have Joey show us how to use the software. All right, so the software we'll be using today is the software that comes with the Snap, ma snap Maker. Um, when you get it and look through the instructions, it'll tell you to go to download.snapmaker.com to install the software. Um, after you have it installed, it look, should look something like this. Um, and to begin with, you go to the laser section, which is on the, on the left here, looks like a little laser. Um, and here on this screen uh, is where we go ahead and upload our image. Um, so when you're uploading images, you can choose black and white, grayscale, or vector. I almost always choose grayscale because um, even if it is a black and white image, it usually just turns out better if you do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open that. So that's our image from the internet. Um, it already sizes it sizes it automatically to the largest size that is allowed. Um, but then we have to figure out what settings we want to set it at, right? Because different materials require different settings. Um, so what you do is there'll be a link in the description to something called the Definitive Guide to Laser Engraving and Cut from the Snapmaker. Here it'll list a bunch of different materials that uh, you could laser engrave into and the settings which you should use. Um, that we're going to be cutting in today is plywood, so there's a little link for plywood. And we have the original snap maker with the original laser, so it's the 200 milliwatt laser, which allows us to engrave. Um, and since we're doing grayscale, we do we look at grayscale, power is going to be 100%, jog speed 1500, uh, work speed to default, and then the dwell time is 30. And, the, and this is all, so most of these are default. You have to make sure you set your power to 100, and then the dwell time is not default. So you have to up that to 30, um, which is this little one right down here. So we're going to put that. 30 there, and after we set that to 30, then we go ahead and click preview to preview what it, what the burned image will look like. And it takes a second. All right, good. So it looks basically just like our image, which is what we want. Um, so after we do that, uh, we click generate G code. And when you click generate G code, what that does is it basically builds the instructions that the snap maker is going to use to, to burn your image. Um, after you've clicked generate G-code, you're going to load G-code into Workspace. Um, and this is if you're doing the, having the SignMaker connect directly to your computer, um, which I would recommend, especially for laser engraving. Um, and there you go. All right, so next we're going to place our wood on our engraver space. So you're going to want to make sure it's nice and centered. Before you place it, make sure you've marked the center spot. Um, because that's how you're going to align your engraver laser. So I'm just making sure it's nice and centered. And all I'm going to do is use these screws. I'm going to hand tighten them down to keep our project in the correct spot. All right, so now we're going to work um, by moving our laser to the center of our project. It's really important they give you these glasses um, it's just to protect your eyes when the laser is on. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then I'm going to hit laser power open and this is going to turn the laser on. So now I'm going to move the laser into my center spot that I've already marked using the controls on the screen. Okay, so now that my laser is centered. I'm going to change the height of it to make sure that it's focused on the dot with the card that they gave us. All right, so now this is all aligned and ready to go. So I'm going to click set work origin. And then I'm gonna click run boundary, which is gonna show us where the image is printing. So now I know that the image is going to fit perfectly on our piece, and so we can go ahead and start engraving. 
So to start engraving, you're going to want to make sure your work speed is still set to 100 and that your laser power is also still set to 100. And then all you do is click play and watch it work. Now this is going to take a while, so we will show you the finished project as soon as it's done. All right, so here's the finished project. The really cool thing was it took about two hours, um, and we were able to pause the software during that so that we could go do something and come back, and it resumed right where we left off. As Joey said, we'll post the link down below with the setting recommendations for what material you're using, and we'll also go ahead and provide the link for the stat maker in the description below. As always, I hope you have a great day. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and like our Facebook page in case you want to see more craft tutorials. Bye, guys.